Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and of course BeamNG Drive. So in the past I've made cars with the most horsepower, I've made cars with the most torque, I've made cars with the highest fuel economy. I've made the lightest cars, I've made the heaviest cars, but I've not made the car with the highest horsepower per liter of engine displacement. So what we're doing today is making a 0.2 liter three cylinder engine having more than 120 horsepower, which is like 600 horsepower per liter, which is more than like a Bugatti Chiron, which is more than any car in history, any production car at least. Maybe a race car is more, but we're not making a race car. We're making a production car in automation. So we're going to design this car. We're going to engineer this car, and then we're going to drive this car in Beam and G Drive to see just how terrible terrible it is. Spoiler alert, it's pretty bad. So, a uh, bottle body panel material. Now, I don't want to go crazy unrealistic for the body, right? We'll just we'll leave that for the engine. It's going to be fiberglass body, which is I think pretty realistic. This body looks like fiberglass. We'll do like a monocoque or we can do like a space frame chassis. Uh, we'll make the chassis probably invisible because I I don't think we're going to make it look good regardless, but we'll just do like we'll do monocoque. We'll make it a mid-engine transverse. It's going to be a a mid-engine rear wheel drive like super buggy basically with what double wishbone front and double wishbone rear that sounds perfectly fine if you ask me engine name we're gonna call this the super duper inline three uh yeah um engine two hours later per uh leader how do you spell leader which which leader are we doing i don't know we'll do that one variant yes uh, the first thing that we have to choose for the engine is the engine block. It's going to be an inline three, obviously. Uh, we'll do magnesium. No, we'll do... Yeah, we'll do magnesium. The engine is going to be plus 15 quality spammed anyway. So honestly, might as well uh, do absolutely insane. So the engine size. Now, the small size right now is a 0 0.295 liter. So a 295cc three-cylinder engine. That's not that's not 0.2 liters. That's 0.3. I, I know. I know. Don't worry. We're going to get there. We're going to go here, do balance shafts. I will just do the best of the best here for Connor rods, pistons, crankshaft, etc. And make this plus 15 quality. Now this, this is the varying capacity. So we're making it a little smaller here. So it is 0 0.2. 203 liters. So it's, it's basically 0 0.2 liters. I don't know why my computer made a sound. It's fine. It's This is totally fine. Okay. Uh, max compression. We'll do like, what, 70 cam profile for now, I think is like a sweet spot. It's going to be quite high. Uh, quite high lifters as well. Um, I think we're going to do like 80, 80. 80 something lifters, 86. Turbocharger, smart boost. It's going to be like a, a intercooler that does intercooler things. Uh, and with that is like what? Like a, a small intercooler, 170. We'll do a very, very small turbo size. And you'll, you'll see why. It, it, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We'll do a very big uh, turbine size. The turbo size, the turbine size, yes. Okay, different sizes there. That, that, that's important. Let's do an 11.8 fuel mixture, which is over here. And 70, I think, ignition timing, which is like, yeah, 70 ignition timing. That's fine. That's fine. So right now, without tweaking, and we're not there yet, and there's some things I gotta change. We have 103 horsepower from a 0.2 liter inline three. So right now, we are at 500 or so horsepower per liter. So pretty much after an absolute ton of tweaking, we are at 122 horsepower for a 0.2 liter engine. That is over 600 horsepower per liter. Which is, uh, it's crazy. This is uh, this, this car is just nutty at this point, and I, I'm all for it. I'm all for the nutty car. Uh, I tweaked around mostly uh, the intercooler size, all the turbo tuning, and as well as changed these springs and lifters. I made them a, a little bit softer. We could probably even get more on this thing at this point, but I, I, not right now. It's fine. This is fine. This is this is the goal. We're past the goal already. This is actually more than I did in my test car. A manual, uh, an automated manual. We'll give it like a, a, a semi-automatic or a sequential transmission, maybe just a six-speed or a four-speed. Or a seven speed. I actually don't know. We'll just give it a seven speed dual clutch electric LST. That that seems unrealistic. Oh, I want open diffs. Give me open diffs, and give me a manual six speed because this this is America. Even though I'm not American, this this is America. We'll give it sports tires. That's even chunky to be on. That's that's actually like that, that's that's some thick tires. That is a thick boy. My gosh. Okay. Uh, let's go for what four pots in the front. Of, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Tiny. Let's go for six pots because this thing is gonna be this thing is gonna be a little bit quick. Uh, no wonder, Trey, we don't actually need that. Uh, we don't need any any kind of tops or anything. We'll give it a two-seater. We'll give it, like, what? We'll give it a phone... No, we'll give it, like... I mean, like a, like a basic infotainment system, probably. And, uh, no power steering. We'll give it ABS. 
And we'll give it no safety because you and I both know that, that this car is not safe in any, any way, shape, or form. Uh, let's give it just like the basic suspension and just like a sport tune on it. Now, it weighs 1,119 pounds and it's got 100 horsepower. Like, that sounds kind of reasonable. It sounds like it's got a lot of horsepower for its weight, but like this is like a high performance kind of like buggy thing. It, it, under, it oversteers like absolute hell. Uh, and, and that's, that's probably my fault, to be honest. Uh, so it weighs now 1140 pounds. It gets zero MPG. It is a run. All right. So even though, um, it says it's, it's, it does not, it, there's no, there's zero fuel economy. This car just, just doesn't work. It just fix, it just doesn't work. It just does not function like a car should function. Uh, but I promise you it's going to work in BMG, uh, because basically as long as the engine works in automation, as long as it looks like it's fine, uh, it'll be fine in BMG. It says the temperature of the engine header has exceeded safe limits. That That's absolute baloney, and it, it doesn't actually matter. That has no bearing on reality. Okay, top speed here, 268 kilometers an hour. Uh, we're going to limit it to like 240 probably, because that, that seems like a, a, a 239. Sure, that seems like a reasonable amount. A six-speed manual, 5.1 to 60. Let's give it an LSD. You know what? We're already going crazy here. I want it to have... Like good, good, good. Let's just do plus fifteen here. I want it to have a good grip. Let's make it an actual good car, because uh, that seems like a reasonable thing. Let's give it like negative safety, because we actually don't need safety at all. All right, now this thing weighs eight hundred. Wait, can we get a lighter? How light can we get this thing? Uh, severe wheel spin issues. Yeah, that 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 track that tracks that checks out. So zero to sixty in three three point three seconds, which is a little bit bonkers, but. Yeah, it's fine. That's totally fine. Let's get a, a dual clutch at this point, honestly. Uh, a 7 speed at this point. 2.9. This is the quickest accelerating car with 100 horsepower I've ever seen in my life. 2.9 seconds to 60 with 100 horsepower. Let's give it carbon ceramics. We'll lose some weight there. Uh, just a few pounds, but every pound adds up. Do have more brake. Okay, we, we have enough brake force because this car doesn't weigh anything, so we're actually okay. It looks like it's going to drive decently. It looks pretty cool. Uh, we're going to design this thing in a time lapse. I'm going to build the interior. I'm going to build the cockpit of this car. We're going to make it look absolutely epic as heck. And then we're going to drive it in beam and G and see how terrible it is. Because le let's be honest, guys, it's going to be bad. So sit back, relax, guys. And of course, I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, we're starting the build for my 2020 dune buggy uh, highest horsepower per liter thing. I honestly don't know what we're making. Uh, what I'm doing is building a cage first. So I use a cage mod fixture for that. I put some seats in there. I put sort of a uh, back piece behind the seats. I'm adding a dash, adding a screen to the dash because this is going to be a modern vehicle with a bit of a retro vibe to it. So sort of a retro layout uh, with some modern touches, a windshield, which I do change later on, uh, changing the seats to a different fabric and sort of just building the front, changing the windshield. I'm changing the body panels to sort of a, a aluminum look uh, to them adding the headlights which I do change more of later I do keep the front bumper as is though so now we've added in the actual headlights that are going to stay in the vehicle I do tweak them later adding a skid plate to the front uh, adding some sort of tow hitch points to the front as well obviously this is an off-roader it's going to be towed around I changed the color to a nice green adding some pedals adding some cameras on the side so these are side view cameras instead of having side mirrors because I think it looks quite a bit better uh, changing the interior color to a brown and sort of a grayish blue combo which I think looks kind of good I'm still working on my interior skills so bear with me guys I do um tweak the back a little bit add some design to the back and leave it for a second I'm not too sure exactly what I want to do with this body but I end up just sort of I go into the back adding a radiator a giant radiator it's got a you know a very powerful turbo adding just a little bit of detail to the back of the top so it looks you know so it's not completely hollow adding taillights making the headlights a little bigger and working on the the front area so it's not so hollow as well adding a bit of fixtures there sort of just tweaking it making sure it looks pretty good getting a big old scoop uh, back to taillights on the rear. I took off the antenna and just added some sort of um, more like tow mounting points, I guess, or some pull points for some some rope and wire so trees don't hit you and stuff. Uh, adding a big rear bumper and massive dual exhaust, tweaking the taillights just a bit, changing the gearing a little bit, and changing and adding the front badge. I do tweak a little bit more, but this is the 2020 Maven All Dunes Sport. So like I said guys, finished in front of us is the 2020 Maven All Dunes Sport. 
Uh, and yeah, I've actually increased the horsepower just a little bit. It's pushing 135 and a half horsepower in a 0.2 liter three cylinder turbo engine, which is obviously just absolutely nutty. That is about 675 horsepower per liter. So the Koenigsegg Gamera, for example, makes 600 horsepower from a two liter three cylinder, which is 300 horsepower per liter. We are making over double that. We're making 675 horsepower per liter from what I can find is the all time record for an automation car. It's got these uh, square taillights. We have the all dune sport badging. Got these massive dual exhaust, even though it's a, a, a three cylinder with one exhaust only, but it's totally fine. It's fine. Uh, the inside, it's pretty simple, but it's nice. It's, it's, it's clean. It's nice. We got this old style dash. We got this new wheel with some round leather and some round and, and gray leather. Uh, we have a big screen over here. We have a little screen over there. It's overall, you know, it's not bad. It's zero or off road, which is literally what this car is supposed to do. Uh, it's quite reliable. It's, it's, I don't even know what that means. It's, yeah, it's not good. It's very sporty though. It's extraordinarily sporty. It's not comfortable, not off road capable. It's very unsafe. And it's not prestigious at all. So this car basically has zero redeeming qualities, but it looks pretty cool. But how bad could a 135 horsepower three cylinder uh, buggy that weighs 600 pounds be? Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and find out. Alright guys, so we're in BMG Drive. I think this is some sort of jungle course. I mean, it's, it's literally a, a jungle, but it is a jungle course in uh, Jungle Rock Island. It's Dirt Stage 2. We've got the All Dune Sport here. It is a little bit loud. I've turned the volume down quite a bit because it is a loud car. I mean, crazy loud. Okay. So we launch it here. The only one exhaust works. The radiator on the top looks kind of weird. Uh, the lights, they function like lights. Overall, it's not bad. It looks actually pretty cool, Mibin G. The paint looks kind of weird, though, but it's like it's like a very matte color. Okay, we're going to stay in third person. We're going to launch it manual. How fast does it go? Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> That is the most anticlimactic launch I've ever seen in my life. Okay, guys, take two. We've got an all-wheel drive, off-road tire variant to this thing now. Uh, the, actually, the old one was actually uh, rear-wheel drive with sport tires, not slick, so it wasn't terrible. But this is all-wheel drive, off-road tires. It should be a lot better. Uh, the gearing is still the same, so it's still incredibly depressing. But once it gets going... It's not terrible. It feels faster than it is, all right? Like, we're going quite slow, but it feels actually like it's, like, decently competent. So we're going to go through this track here at a pretty reasonable pace. Okay, it doesn't like to turn that well, but we're okay. So it's a pretty nasty understeer issue so far, but, you know, that's that's definitely fine. Okay, we're going through this track a little bit fast, I feel like. Like, it feels fast. We're not going fast at all. What I've learned about car design is... is by God, have a proper power band. We don't even have the, uh, enough power to go up the hill in seconds. Oh, oh God, we're gonna clip. We're gonna. Oh, no. I'm sick of this track already, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This track is is depressing and dangerous. We'll go for a dr you know. Okay, we'll do a drag race and then we'll go for like maybe like a little bit of a drive or something because. This thing is just terrible. It doesn't handle well. The suspension is way too stiff. I don't know why I tuned to like a sports car, but it looks cool. We're going to hop into a drag race. Uh, can we do a good quarter mile? I have no idea. All right, West Coast USA. We're in the, the non all-wheel drive. We're in the sport tire one, rear-wheel drive. Uh, we're going to see if this thing can do like a quarter mile or like is there a 60 test? It's, it's not well. No. It feels fast though. But it's not. 0 to 114 seconds and a quarter mile in 19.3. This is about as good as like a 1968 Honda Civic or something probably. Because that, that's just absolutely terrible. That's like, that's that's not good. Uh, we'll change it real quick to the uh, four-wheel drive car. Which is the Sport 2. Uh, if this is better, I don't know. Can we beat like 13 seconds to 60? I, I, I don't think so. But honestly, we have to try. All right, four-wheel drive. Uh, the four-wheel drive actually is rear engine as opposed to a uh, uh, mid-engine of the two-wheel drive because that's how we get four-wheel drive. And this thing, this also has off-road tires, which is a kind of a downside, but it can't be worse, can it? The four-wheel drive is not necessary at all. Okay, fun fact.
All right, so it's doing worse, right? Okay, what if we just leave it in drive? Okay, just leave it in drive. Maybe, it, maybe it'll do better. That's about as quick as as, as nothing. That's that's terrible. That's awful, actually. So there's a couple of things I've learned about this car. All right, the car, it's cool. It looks cool, right? I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna say it's a beautiful looking car or like a great looking car, uh, but I think it's a pretty cool vehicle. Uh, is it fast? No. Automation has totally lied to us. It's terrible. This car is absolutely awful in, in most ways. It's a good at off-roading. It's it's even worse at off-roading than it is at acceleration. It's it's absolutely terrible. Uh, it looks cool though. That's, that's the only redeeming quality it's got. I've got very high hopes here. We're gonna go into drive here. That way we can actually put in the neutral if we need to. It like launches pretty hard, but yeah, we're gonna hit top speed pretty easily with this thing. We're just gonna let it cruise here. 220 kilometers an hour. It's very, very light though. Oh wow, that's a lot of backflips. Oh, that's not good. My steering wheel is shaking violently. That's that's not good. Can we? Can we? Can we are we good? Are we good? Wow, this thing just skis. The engine should not be starved of oil, but that's no problem. No, oh, no, the engine... Oh, that's not good. I don't know what's happening. Why does it back up? I don't understand. But as far as I know, this is the new record for automation. 675 horsepower per liter, which is absolutely insane, might I add. That That's like the equivalent of a, a Bugatti Chiron. Having, a, hold on, hold on. I, I need to get my calculator up for this. I, I can't even do the math. That's just, that's the equivalent of a Bugatti Chiron having 5,400 horsepower. That's a little nutty. That's a little nutty. I uh, will finish off here. Join my Discord link in the description below. I'll leave a download link for this car if you guys want to download it. I'll leave a download link for the base model, not the all-wheel drive model. Um, if you guys like the video, leave a like. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to beat any more records in automation. I've made the lightest, heaviest, I've made all those things. Let me know what you want to see me do next. I will take your guys' ideas into consideration. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And of course, as always, I'll see you next time. Let's just... I'm just gonna get out of here in this thing. Come on, let's just go this way, I guess. Sure.